from enormous scorpion spiders to creepy bloodsuckers that annoy dinosaurs, here are 20 scary and bizarre prehistoric bugs and critters. Number 20. Myanmar Mashup A truly bizarre discovery was made at one of the richest deposits of Cretaceous Amber in Myanmar. It's considered to be an extinct wingless wasp found inside amber that dates 100 million years old. The characteristics of several different insects are exhibited by this animal. The strong hind legs are reminiscent of a grasshopper. They would have been useful for jumping or pulling itself out of crevasses into which it had burrowed. The insect also displays the thick abdomen of a cockroach and ant-like antennae. Its face possessed a jagged stinger, not unlike a wasp, and likely used it to attack rival insects. Because the animal is so unique, researchers created an entirely new family for it that includes bees and wasps. Number 19. Giant Snails In terms of giant-sized gastropods, the largest species today is the African land snail. They can grow more than 7 inches long, with a shell diameter of about 3.5 inches. If that's not big enough for you, consider this prehistoric specimen. It lived some 50 million years ago during the Eocene Epoch. The appropriately named C. gigantium was a marine gastropod that could grow some 2 feet long. Lengthwise, it's considered to be one of the biggest species of shelled gastropods that ever lived. Imagine a snail that big in your garden. Its fossil was discovered in France, mainly in the Paris Basin. Number 18. Ticks Ticks are another species that we're all too familiar with today, but also bugged the dinosaurs tens of millions of years ago. A collector in Burma found a lump of amber in 2017 that contained one that appears to be entangled with a feather, and it's teaching scientists about how they lived. The exact species of the animal that the feather came from isn't yet known for certain. Either way, it would have been a great meal for the tick. Another lump of amber had an identical type of parasite in it, but this one had only just finished a meal before it was caught in tree sap. This one was eight times its original size, which means it was probably engorged with the blood of its victim. The finds were some of the first that proved parasitic insects plagued the animals of the Cretaceous period, and if how they behave today is anything to go by, they would almost certainly have fed on all feathered animals of the time, especially dinosaurs. And now for 17, but first be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Number 17. Euphorbaria If you're squeamish about millipedes or centipedes, you can give thanks this creature is extinct. It was similar to today's anthropods, with a big difference. Certain members of its genus could measure over 3 feet long. Modern day centipedes are known to prey on animals as large as bats. What do you think these prehistoric monsters ate for dinner? Number 16. Platyceramus while this list has a lot of insects and other creepy crawlies, this creature is a bit different. And if you like seafood, it might make you more hungry than scared. Yet this humongous prehistoric bivalve was too big to ignore. Platyceramus was one of the largest clams ever discovered. Some of them were nearly 10 feet long, which dwarfs the largest modern clams. The giant clam can grow more than 4.5 feet, with exceptionally large specimens weighing 750 pounds. We couldn't find estimates for the prehistoric clam's weight, but given its size, it must have been a truly massive mollusk. Number 15. Camaraceras Its upper body size can only be estimated, yet this is still regarded as one of the largest cephalopods that ever existed some 470 million years ago and some sources claim it's the largest one of all. Researchers say the animal may have reached 30 feet based on its shell remnants. It had tentacles growing from its cone-like shell that were used for seizing prey. A hard beak at the base of its tentacles would have cracked open the prey's shell or exoskeleton. They're related to modern squids, cuttlefish, and octopuses. Number 14, Meganura. They're related to present-day dragonflies and would have resembled them as well. Existing some 300 million years ago, Meganura is a genus that contains species with some frightening dimensions. Some of them were the size of birds, with wingspans exceeding 28 inches. 
it boggles the mind to imagine a dragonfly large enough to prey on animals like frogs or squirrels. But their diet consisted mainly of other insects. Fossils of these creatures have been found in France and England. And even though they were scary big, they weren't the biggest known flying insects. That one is coming up a little later. Number 13. Pulmonoscorpius. Many scorpions are considered to be small, deadly, and carry a fearsome reputation. But this prehistoric monster measured about 30 inches long and would have looked like a real nightmare. They lived around 345 million years ago and their sting may have been powerful enough to take down smaller mammals or reptiles. Number 12. Fleas. If you've ever been around fleas, you'll know how annoying they can be. But imagine them being 10 times the size with an equally as big bite and thirst for blood. And that's what dinosaurs had to face on a daily basis. Researchers who discovered these prehistoric monsters described their bite as being like a hypodermic needle going into the skin because of their super-sized proboscis they used to feed. They were found as fossils in Inner Mongolia, and while looking very much like a soft-bodied flea, are thought to be the ancestors of a long-extinct flea lineage. As well as having a vicious straw to drink blood through, they also had long claws that they could use to hold on tightly to the scales of their prey to ensure they could finish their meal before being shaken off. Number 11. The trouble with trilobites. These are marine anthropods that have scavenged in the oceans for hundreds of millions of years. By most accounts, they were among the most successful forms of early animal life. On average, they could reach about 4 inches. But the largest known species is identified as Irex. That animal reached 28 inches long and 16 inches wide. With its armoured shell, compound eyes and segmented body, it might have resembled today's horseshoe crab, even though they're not closely related. The closest living relatives to trilobites are animals like sea spiders, which is scary enough on their own. Number 10. Pam de Lurion. Some of the scariest animal jaws in history may have belonged to this prehistoric creature. Paleontologists say its fossils have been found in China and date back some 520 million years. They belong to a class of worm-like creatures distinguished by their mouths filled with circlets of plates and choppers. Some have compared it to the Sarlacc beast from Star Wars. But this critter would have been a real-life nightmare. Its head was lined with large spikes, behind which was its mouth. The mouth had three layers of teeth and plates that protruded out in a pyramid-like shape. Prey was speared by the animal's spikes while the mouth sprang open to feed. At around three feet long, it wasn't nearly as big as the sarlacc, but sometimes smaller is scarier. Number 9. The Platypus of Crabs Scientists discovered a new species of crab in 2019 that was unlike anything they'd ever seen. Dating back some 95 million years, the prehistoric animal had a shrimp-like mouth, the eyes of a larva, claws like a crab, and a lobster's carapace. Its bizarre anatomical mashup earned it the nickname the platypus of crabs. Due to its unusual legs, scientists think it was probably a water dweller and spent more time swimming than crawling on the ground. Another major departure from normal crab features was this animal's size. Many of them were no bigger than a US quarter. Number 8. Scorpion Spiders Around 100 million years ago, an arachnid existed that could nearly pass as a spider and scorpion hybrid. Paleobiologists found the creature's remains preserved in Burmese amber in Myanmar. The specimen had a body length of 2.5mm, while its tail measured about 3mm. But this small critter presented some big questions for experts. Their whip-like tails are similar to those of the present-day whip scorpion, which are not true scorpions either. But these ancient mysterious arachnids did possess several traits typical of true spiders, including spinnerets to create silk. So these newly unearthed animals could be an example of a Lazarus taxon with no fossil record. Or they might have belonged to an extinct group that shared some similar origins as spiders. In any case, the arachnids could prove that spider-like creatures with tails existed alongside true spiders some 200 million years ago. Number 7. Giant Shrimp Its official name is Anomalocaris, but it's likely better known as the Giant Abnormal Shrimp. 
It lived more than 500 million years ago and was first described in 1892. Back in its day, there were evidently a lot of these critters swimming in the world's oceans. That's because their fossils have been found widely distributed all about the globe. It's thought to have been a ferocious predator, mainly feeding on trilobites or extinct marine anthropods. A Nomalacurus would have made for a truly giant shrimp. Number 6. Hallucigenia This animal is known from fossils found in China and Canada. Its odd name is a reference to its hallucinatory appearance. They were tubular creatures about 1.4 inches long, with up to 8 pairs of legs that each had a pair of claws. Another 3 sets of pincers were located behind their legs. They had no sensory organs like eyes or ears, and while they were most often considered to be a type of worm, some experts think they're more like anthropods. Number 5. Meganeuropsis These enormous specimens existed more than 315 million years ago, and while they resemble dragonflies, they're only distant relatives. Researchers typically refer to them as griffinflies, or large, primitive, predatory insects. This genus contains the largest known flying insect ever, beating out the previously mentioned Meganeura. The enormous Meganeuropsis permiana was a species with a wingspan of nearly 30 inches across and body length of about 19 inches. That's far greater than today's largest dragonfly, which has a wingspan of 7.5 inches. Along with their great size, these creatures had powerful toothed jaws and would have been highly maneuverable in the air. Number 4. Manipulator While we might assume a prehistoric cockroach was a huge version of today's insect, such is not the case here. But even though the Manipulator M was a mere 4.5mm long, it would still give you a scare. It had a freely rotating head, an elongated neck, and unusually long legs that were used for chasing prey or ambushing it. Experts say it probably hunted at night as it skittered around nearly 100 million years ago. Even though it's identified as a cockroach, its closest living relative today is the praying mantis. Number 3. Arthropleura Today's largest species of millipede grows more than 15 inches long. The largest centipede grows more than 12 inches long. No doubt many of us think they're scary enough to begin with. But can you imagine either of those animals measuring several feet long? That's horror movie stuff. Arthropleura was an ancestor of both these invertebrates, and experts say the largest of them could grow 8 feet long or more. It could also measure several feet wide, so its size alone was enough to discourage predators. But despite its massive size, fossilised evidence has revealed it could move quickly to swerve, avoiding rocks and trees on the forest floor. Even though it appeared fearsome enough to be a predator itself, the creature was actually herbivorous. Researchers say it's the largest species of land invertebrate known to date. Number 2. Monster Sea Scorpions One might quibble that J. Coleopterus wasn't really a sea scorpion because it probably lived in freshwater environments. But there's no arguing about how frightening this beast would have been. Alive some 390 million years ago, J. Renani measured some 8.5 feet and is the largest anthropod yet to be discovered. That is double the height of some people. It possessed heavy, robust pincers more than 18 inches long, and was probably an apex predator. Even though they're the largest anthropods, these animals had a lightweight build, so they weren't necessarily the heaviest of the lot, but they were extremely agile and highly maneuverable. Number 1. Mosquitoes Mosquitoes are one of the largest causes of human fatalities throughout the world because of the diseases that they carry, with some estimates suggesting as many as 400,000 people die each year because of malaria alone. Their annoyance isn't just a human issue, and a discovery announced in early 2019 suggests that their impact hasn't changed much in 100 million years, even if the species have. They have been equally annoying to all species with blood for millions of years. Found in amber in Myanmar, researchers have identified a new type of anopheline, which is the family of mosquitoes that carry malaria. At the time it was caught in tree sap, it would have been living in a tropical forest surrounded by velociraptors and T. rexes, and would have fed on birds, small mammals, and reptiles of all sizes. 
they definitely would have been bothering the dinosaurs in the same way they do us, and researchers are now looking at whether they could have been vectors for disease spreading. Some believe the true reason for the extinction of the dinosaurs was a plague or an illness, and it's quite possible that mosquitoes were the ones responsible for spreading it. Thanks for watching. Do you like prehistoric bugs as much as we do? If so, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. See you next time.